Here's video number four on our SATB Odyssey. Um, <clears throat> this is root movement by fourth and fifth. This is actually the most common progression movement in tonal music. And so you want to be able to do this one well. So the textbook defines three ways to move by root by fourth or fifth. And um, I think that we should forget about that. And we should think of spivel, smooth as possible voice leading, doubling, um, and if we do that, we'll automatically come up with one of those three ways. Let me show you what I mean. So let's look at this. This is a C. We're in the key of C. Let's go up to four. Okay, so th this is C, D, E, F. This is a fourth. So this is a root movement by fourth. If the C, if this went down to F, it would be root movement by a fifth, because right? F is a fifth below. All right, so I'm going to choose a voicing for my first chord. And now I know that I have two Cs, an E, and a G. I would like you, before I even do it, I'd like you to connect as smoothly as you can from one to four. Okay, so you need two roots, a third and a fifth in the four chord, and you need the smoothest possible connection from one. Stop the video and do that. Okay, so do you see uh, CEG has to connect to FAC? So you can see that there's a common tone. So we want to make sure we get that common tone. The pitches left are F and A. Do you see how this E can lead to F and this G can lead to A? That gives us a stepwise motion, sorry, a common tone and two stepwise motions. Okay, so that's one way that could work. I would like to do the same progression from C to G, that's one to five. So let's start with that same voicing, C, C, G, E. Stop the video and write a connection from one to five, and of course the five chord is G, B, D, with smoothest possible voice leading and proper doubling. Okay, so we have to go to GBD. We see there's a G right here, so let's maintain that as a common tone. We need a B and a D. So this C can go to B, this E can go to D. And we have a common tone. So look at this one and this one. Do you see how this goes up a fourth? And this goes down a fourth. Okay. So it's almost like you're on C and you go up a fourth, and then you're on C and you go down a fourth. It's a mirror image. When this goes up here, we have a common tone and two voices move by step. Here, when this goes down, we have a common tone and two voices move down. So can you see that the voice leading? here is actually upside down here, okay? So this went up a fourth, this goes down a fourth. This goes up a second, this goes down a second. This goes up a second, this goes down a second. It's something interesting to observe. Um, you don't need to completely understand why that works, okay? Now, <clears throat> the smoothest possible voice leading for this progression involves a specific melody. I would like us to look at all of the possibilities um, of different melody notes. Okay, so let's imagine we have a one chord 
Here's our one chord. And let's go to the five chord. Okay. In this one, when we did the smoothest possible voice leading, E led to D. Let's take this E to a different chord tone. Okay. So we have G, B, D. Let's take this E to G. Okay. What if our melody did that? What does that do for the rest of our voicing? Okay. Well, we've got G and G. That's our doubled root. So we still need a B and we need a D. I think what we have to do is this has to go to D and this has to go to B. Now you may look at that and say, this doesn't look very smooth at all, because here's a step, here's a leap, and here's a leap. Okay? But remember, there's a P in spivel. Smoothest possible voice leading. Given the constraints of this melody, this is the smoothest possible voice leading. Let's do the final one where we go C to G. We start on the E. And now this went to D, this went to G. Let's take this to B. Okay, so this is one going to five. So now here we're going to need um, G, B, D. We have G and B. We're going to need another G, and we're going to need another D. I see that this can move very smoothly to D, and this can maintain a common tone. Okay, So this is a step, common tone, and a leap of a fourth. So of these three possibilities, this one is the smoothest, because everything is either common tone or step. But given a specific melody, these are the smoothest ways to realize each of those. All right, here's what I'd like you to do. Let's do the key of B flat. And I'd like you to go in the key of B flat, two, five, one. So you're gonna write three chords, two chord, five chord, one chord, in root position, and you're going to connect them as smoothly as possible from two to five, and then from five to one. Go ahead and stop the video and do that. When you're ready, come back. Okay, so we need our key signature. Okay, so two in the key of B flat is C, five is F, and one is B flat. I'm going to voice this first chord, C, G, E flat. These upper voices could be in any order. Um, you do want to allow yourself space. Do you see how this goes up to F right here? So I probably wouldn't start the tenor on G since it's so close. They're going to kind of run into each other. Okay, so here we've got C, E flat, G. And again, don't do this. Okay, but I'm just doing this to show you. And here we have F. A, C. This is a visual representation of what should be happening in your head. Okay, so now we need F, A, C. We're going to do smoothest possible voice leading. So we have a common tone, we have an F, and we have an A. So right now we have a common tone and two voices moving by step. Now we're going to go to B flat. B flat is going to be uh, B flat, D, F. Here's our common tone, here's our B flat, and here's our D. So common tone, two voices moving by step. Um, for all of these progressions, you really should play these on a keyboard. You need to hear these. You need to feel these four voices moving under your hands and, and understand how the pitches connect. So what we're doing here, we're making a very simple soprano melody a very simple alto melody, simple tenor, and then the bass leaps around 
um, and all those melodies combine together to give us um, four voice harmony that flows beautifully from one chord to the next. And that's all for this video.